His fever has gone down. I'm surprised it only took him one day to recover. It took three when he forged the pact with me. He's definitely got natural ability as a shepherd. Miklio. Oh, thanks for helping with the letters, by the way. I caught up with everyone I needed to. It's okay. I rather enjoy writing letters. <sighs> Are you awake? I... I must have fainted again. Sorry. You gave me quite a backache. <laughs> you looked like you were floating. I told the innkeeper you were just doing some sort of magic trick. <laughs> well, I never was any good at lying anyways. Don't overexert yourself. You still need to rest. I'll be fine. We gotta find the Lord of the Land and someone to pray at the sanctuary before the ice melts. Uh, but... The Shepherd has spoken. Is it not the duty of the Prime Lord, Sublord, and Squire to follow him? O great Seraphim, whose blessings yet dwell in this land, turn thine ears to our prayers. Thank you so much, Father Brunor. Thanks to you, my son's legs have healed considerably. No need to thank me. It is your diligent prayer that has made the difference. Be steadfast and pure in mind and spirit as you continue to pray for the health of your son. Hmm? A contribution to the sanctuary. I told you before, madam. I'm afraid I can't possibly... Please, accept it. There's something I've realized. Merely praying for help is an offense to the Seraphim. It is a selfish act for personal gain. Who told you such a thing? Well, no one in particular. You'll need money to pay for your son's treatment, won't you? Use this towards that end instead, for the sake of your son. My son feels the same as I do. Everyone says the same thing. His wounds were punishment for his selfish prayers. Oh. And there are even those who spread vicious rumors about myself and you, Father Brunor. Please, I beg of you, accept this so that we might be saved. Uh, very well. I shall humbly accept your gift as a token of you and your son's gratitude. Oh, thank you so much. Now, perhaps, these rumors will finally come to an end. May you receive the blessing of the Seraphim, Father. Right, the blessing. Guess I'll buy a drink. Princess! I'm here to ask a favor. Of me? What could I... We would like to ask you to enshrine and look after a new seraph in our town's sanctuary. This is a request from the Shepherd. The Shepherd? You mean this boy is the... Uh, forgive me. You are not to be blamed. It is the fault of the royal family that so many have strayed from the noble path. Excuse me, if I may? It's nice to meet you. 
My name's Saray. Huh? I'd like you to be the one to worship at the Sanctuary for the protection of Lady Lake. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused by pulling the Sacred Blade so carelessly. I know I'm still a fledgling Shepherd who hasn't gotten used to things yet, but I promise I will do my best. Yes, yes, of course. It's quite all right. Please, do not prostrate yourself so. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> this request comes from me as well. Please, help me so that I in turn may help this inexperienced but pure of heart Shepherd. Of course. I am honored that I may possibly be of service to ones such as yourselves. Though I am frail of body, I shall perform the task at hand with the entirety of my spirit. I'm glad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. My foot's asleep. Seriously? <laughs> Well then, Father Brunor, when you're ready, I will come visit you again. As you wish. Do be careful. Well, that's one way to ask a favor, I guess. It was very serene. Yes, I think this helped the priest as well.
Is that a monolith? go. Now eat up before it melts. Oh, a fruit frappe. The arrangement is beautiful. Just what I'd expect from a water, Sarah. Something like this would be beyond me. But Lila, you make sweets too, right? Well, yes. I'm good at baking, but don't work well with cold things. Oh, I see. So Lila is good with baking because she's a seraph of fire, and Miklio is good with cool sweets because he's a seraph of water. Even seraphim have strong points and weak points. It's true. I'm really no good at baking. I'll say, that one time when you tried to cook boar meat, you turned the heat up way too high and burnt it black as coal. We were both little kids then. And besides, it only happened because you didn't make the fire- Oh, guys, talking is fine and all, but if you don't eat, it's going to melt. Oh, oh shoot! shoot! Good thing the armor shop had both a ceremonial sword and staff. Also, there's something I kind of wanted to ask you. Yeah, I know. You want to ask if this staff looks like it's floating in midair to humans. Is that it? How do you know? One look in your eyes says it all. Even if it's an item that humans can see, when Seraphim infuse mana into it, it will become unrecognizable by humans. The opposite is true as well. Anything made by a Seraph can be recognized by humans if mana gets infused in that item. Although, it's kind of a rare ability. So Gramps' pipe is like that. Quite perceptive of you. In fact... Gramps told you everything you just told me, didn't he? That's also quite perceptive of you. What happened? We're investigating the collapse of Grifflet Bridge. The cause may be flooding from the rain. It wasn't caused by rain. The current is odd considering the water level. I have a bad feeling about this. You should evacuate. Finally, someone who's talking some sense. Who are you? All right, do as Saray suggests. Saray? You can't possibly mean the Shepherd. If he is, maybe he can stop the floods. You really think there's anything that can stop the Water Spirit's rampage? Water Spirit? It's terrible. Destroy the bridge in an instant. It's some sort of... monster! Silence! Enough with your nonsense! What? The water spirit! Run! That's an order. Hurry! Very tough! Does this thing really look like a person to them? An Ouroboros? Why is it in a place like this? For ordinary people, it probably looks like a huge water spout. It looks pretty strong! Careful of this rising coil attack! It spins and plunges into you! Blue 
So Ray tends to get into danger. Please help him. Of course. Leave it to me. What? The Hellion turned into a Seraph? It's the other way around. Hellions that are strong enough to manifest themselves are those that were once Seraphim. A Seraph can become a Hellion? And Seraphim that have completely turned into Hellions are known as... Dragons. Dragons? Those really exist? So... Then the legends were true. Uh... So the wrecking of the bridge was all... all my fault. I'm so ashamed. If you hadn't been here to purify me, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you. I'm really glad that we were able to save you. Um... I am Uno, young shepherd. Saray. Uno, in exchange for saving you, we would like to ask you a favor. Would you be willing to listen? Hmm? I would ask you to bless Lady Lake. But as things currently stand in that town... Lady Alicia, are you all right? I'm fine. The water spout has disappeared. See, I told you she'd be fine. Nothing can hurt our princess when she's got the shepherd at her side. Weren't you the one shaking at his boots earlier? Still, the rain has suddenly stopped, and the currents have come significantly. This, too, must be the power of the Shepherd. I always thought it was just a fairy tale. To think I'd see the friggin' Shepherd with my own eyes. Hey! Watch your language in front of the Shepherd. It looked to me like... like the Shepherd just cut right through the water spout. I doubt anyone will believe me, though. Who cares? I'd rather believe in the miracles of the Shepherd. Friggin' water spirit can kiss my hairy butt! Hey, what happened to watching your language? <sighs> so there are still people here who believe. Well, you did help me get back to my old self. Then can you help? I shall become the Lord of the Land for the Domain of Lady Lake. Thank you, Uno. And you must be the Prime Lord? You've picked a fine shepherd. I agree. Let's go. Father Brunor is waiting for us. That'll do it.
Oh, truly this power is the stuff of miracles. Hmm, looks like he really can't sense us at all. I shall worship this sacred water with all my being. Oh, venerable Uno, I am yet inexperienced, but would that I could serve thee for all eternity. <laughs> but he is earnest. I'll at least give him that. What was that? I feel like a sort of wind just blew right through me. The blessing has returned to this town. This town is now under my domain. But in order to maintain the blessing, I will need cooperation from the people. Indeed, there are all kinds of methods besides prayer that one can use to uphold the blessing. Like? For example... I see. I'll be sure to give it a try. This sure sounds like a pain to me. I will do what little I can. Hmm? What's wrong? I can still feel a powerful malevolence. And it's not far off. It's somewhere in town. That's the royal palace. So this is a conversation with the Seraphim? A bunch of lunatics talking to themselves out loud? You are? I am a messenger from Chancellor Bartlow of the Highland Government. I have come to invite Saray to a private dinner conference in light of his great suffering for the sake of Lady Lake. Have you been watching over Saray? Not at all. In fact, I was quite surprised. That the Princess of Highland, as distant as her claim to the throne may be, would have relations with the Shepherd that are so... intimate. I'm sure this news will please your beloved subjects to no end, your highness. If you are insinuating that... Alicia! Where to? Roundable Palace. Very well. Tell Bartlow I accept his proposal. Please, you mustn't get involved with the Chancellors. I can feel it from them. The malevolence does seem to be coming from them. I apologize for being so weak. Don't worry, it's true. We really do want to see what's going on at the palace. It'll be our first time. You'll have to be our guide. Just as you have been to me.
What's this about? Forgive me, Lady Alicia. Lord Bartlow's orders were to allow Shepard Saray through. We didn't know he'd have a companion. <laughs> <laughs> His Eminence Lord Bartlow is with a visitor at the moment. Please accompany me to the waiting room. This way. I cannot believe this. Please, wait here for the time being. What's that? make ice pops with so much ease, McLeo. I'm a water seraph. Something like this is a piece of cake. Chilled food is a luxury to me. Even just getting the ice needed to cool things is pretty difficult. If you'd like, I can make them any time for you. Really? Then can you teach me how to make them? Well, sure. If you don't mind. Thank you very much. As for the ice itself, is there any way to get it other than using seraphic arts? Um, I can't think of any other way than freezing water to make ice. I see. Then it'd be a little difficult for me. In that case, I'll just prepare the ice myself when we're together. I'll teach you how to make the fruit juice first. Then you'll be able to make it by yourself if you have ice. Yes, thank you. I'm not particularly fond of cooking myself, but I will do what I can. Miklio, please pass me the orange. I shall cut it properly with my skillful lancing. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to use a lance in cooking. There's, like, infinite books! Just what you'd expect from a royal palace. Quite a collection of rare and valuable tomes. Lots that deal with history and ancient relics, too! Oh, I just want to sit and read them all! Oh my! This book has an interesting title. Mad Screams of Love. A poetry book, maybe? Let's check it out. Yeah, careful! It's gonna look like the book's floating in midair! Don't worry, Alicia will hand wave it away for us somehow. Oh, for... Uh, here, gimme! I'll hold it. Wow, Mad is right. An ode to young passions. A lonely voice, screaming love and anguish to the heavens. You just know the author's gonna look back at this ten years later and cringe. Angsty doesn't even begin to cover it. So that's what's so mad about it. Really? It all sounds pretty good to me. Huh? huh? Saray, I think that's because you're so... So inherently enthusiastic. You guys okay? <laughs> You look kind of... Uh, mad. Lord Bartlow is ready for you. To the round table chamber, if you please. Please wait here, Princess. Why? We were told that you were to receive different orders. About Marland? Yes. Please stay here. Fine. Alicia? 
It's about a yet unfinished job. Sorry, but I'm staying behind after all. This way. I shall guide you to the round table chamber. Did they leave her behind on purpose? I bet they did. The malevolence isn't gone yet. Sorry to have kept you waiting, gentle shepherd. Please, take a seat. Poison pot pie. Don't worry. I promise you, it's not poisoned. We simply felt it would be best to be closer to you. Let me introduce you. This is Military Chancellor Mathia, leader of the Royal Army. This is Professor Simon, administrator of the law in Highland. And this is Archbishop Nathael, the highest-ranking holy man in the kingdom. And last, the man who manifests the will of the king himself. Bartlow. I'm Saray. Thank you very much for your invitation. We have much to discuss. Whoa, Saray, I hope you don't trust them. He does indeed have spunk. That, or perhaps he's just that much of a simpleton. It's quite delicious. Though I would have liked to let Alicia taste it as well. What is your relation with Lady Alicia, if I may ask? We're just friends. She invited me to come to the outside world with her. How about we drop this silly game and have you tell us the real story, hmm? Hmm? They're suggesting that you and Alicia are using each other. Hatching some sort of nefarious plot together. I'm not using Alicia. The Shepherd does not do such things. Oh, he doesn't. I couldn't say. I've never actually seen a Shepherd before. So they doubt you. I figured as much. Believe me or don't, I don't care. Well, we do care. It would be quite the scandal if the royal family had produced a false shepherd to curry favor with the populace. Careful. And so you're asking for proof that I'm the real shepherd? <laughs> Truth be told, it matters not whether you're real or just a boy in a silly outfit. The issue is that regardless, the citizens are beginning to side with you. It's the nature of the people to yearn for some dramatic sort of salvation. An easy way to have their every desire fulfilled. True. The Shepherd in every era has always suffered greatly from the people's grandiose expectations. The common man is but a fool and a cur. It's an unfortunate observation, but that is the reality of it. But in fact, it is for that very reason that we need you. Me? Why me? I will be perfectly frank with you. We are asking you to work under us, Shepherd Saray. As the Shepherd who would protect Highland, we want you to reinvigorate the people, boost their morale. The rampant disasters have rather dampened the people's spirits lately. It's very unfortunate for the Council. Those ignorant fools. Right when we're on the brink of war with Rollins. We will reward you handsomely, of course. 
This is your advance. If you're really all the rumors say, I hear that you're quite interested in ancient ruins, yes? Were you to side with us, surely this would be sufficient to facilitate your explorations and archival activities, would it not? <laughs> There's no point in siding with Princess Alicia. The princess is to be transferred to the city of Marland, where the epidemic yet thrives. They're sending her to a plague town? Surely even our spirited Princess Knight will learn her limits after toiling in such a star-crossed locale. Of course, if she herself were stricken with illness, I suppose she would have bigger things to worry about. <laughs> so then, Shepard Saray, there's nothing to even think about, is there? I refuse. Darn. Guess they weren't the type you can sit down and talk with after all. Probably better this way. Proud words from a false shepherd. You and Alicia will both learn the hard way what comes from crossing us. Wait! What on earth is going on here? What are armed guards doing in the palace? These are Lord Bartlow's orders. Ugh. Lord Bartlow, what is the meaning of this? Stand down at once! Nice castle, but we're done here. Let's go, Alicia. I can fulfill my dreams without your help. And the same goes for Alicia. Indeed it does. Death to the name Shepherd, who deceives the people! Stand back, Alicia, or you'll get hurt! Don't you think you're overdoing it here, Saray? Saray has just gotten too powerful. Strike! Saray, listen. You have to hold back a bit. I don't know that I can. We just can't go on like this. This power... Could he truly... Lord Bartlow, we will forgive this transgression. In exchange, you will never threaten the Shepherd again. Am I being clear? Impossible. He'll plunge the kingdom into upheaval. And if by any chance, he were to fall into Rolands's hands... <laughs> I'd be more worried about your own neck if I were you. Who are you? Scattered bones. Assassins! Yes. That man approached us, and tried to hire our guild to murder your princess here. <gasps> Are you saying Lord Bartlow was plotting to kill Alicia? D don't be ridiculous! He says we're liars. Should we kill him? <laughs> Enough! I beg of you, please stop. The Kingdom of Highland needs this man. <laughs> You're all you're made out to be. Listen and listen well, Bartlow. We do not kill against our own honor. Understood. Why? He's fine. They didn't kill him. <coughs> Not your usual assassins, are you? I'm impressed they snuck into the palace. Apprehend them! They're the conspirators! Not good. Thanks to you, our work was quick and painless. Here's your reward. Follow us. to break through. We can't. They might die if I use my power. Hurry. This way.
rest we leave up to you. What? kitchen was connected to a place like this. I'm impressed the Scattered Bones knew about this route. Still, seems like an awful lot to go through just to deliver a warning. What women who become Hallians can turn into. I suppose that could happen to anyone with a black heart. Not yet, you're a soul! Purification complete! I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Hellion? Made when a dead body is possessed by a Hellion. Guess the only thing we can do? Splendid! You mustn't neglect nutrition. Is everyone ready? Serpent of God! It looks like a pig, but it must have been human before. Even if the Seraphim just eats and eats all day, that's what happens. The strength of a knight exists to protect, and their kindness serves to protect. the fight! That must be the source of the malevolence. It looks like an echidna. Such deep hatred. It must have quite a grudge. Watch out for its charge attack. They're deadly. Zeray, Alicia, don't take your eyes off. Everyone okay? Oh, I get it. Huh? This must be connected to the Sacred Blade ruins. Because the torches and architecture are the same, huh? If I may say so, this place is oddly nostalgic. They both date from the same era. There's no way they'd keep the waterway separate. We should be able to get out through the Sacred Blade Ruins. So the bustling city of Lady Lake sits right on top of an enormous network of ruins. You can find a reason to smile in any situation. Is that weird? I'm just who I am, no matter what happens. Well, fair enough. I'll give you that. Don't encourage him, Alicia. So Ray needs to realize for himself what a weirdo he really is. Anyone who hangs around with the weirdo must be pretty weird themselves, don't you think? Looked in a mirror lately? Oh my! 
What a beautiful maiden. Pots call him the Kettle Black, wouldn't you say? Finally, we're free. The sun's high up already. Huh? Hey. Y yeah, it was just so bright I got a little lightheaded. Well, I'm a bit frazzled myself from lack of sleep. Hmm? I'm sure my manor is being watched. Let's rest at the inn for now. We should dry our wet clothes as well or we'll catch a cold. Good idea. Guess we caused yet another scene. Hooray for us. Well, at least we got rid of the malevolence. Incidentally, I suppose. But even so, I'm glad. 
It feels like now there's nothing we've left undone. You say that like it's your end. In a way, it is. I have decided I'm going to Marland. That's a plague town. You can't really mean to obey them. Whatever twisted motives the Chancellor may carry, the Order is official. And besides, it doesn't change the fact that Marland is suffering. I want to do everything I can for the people of Highland. Alicia! The Council may laugh, but so be it. All right. Then I'm going with you. You can't get involved. I've already caused you so many problems. But how do you plan on getting to Marland? The bridge is washed away. Well... I don't know. Four heads are better than one. And we have excellent foreheads. Besides, we need that bridge too, after all. Thank you. No need to thank us. Dinner last night was off the chain! Alright, let's go check on the state of the bridge. <laughs> 